right guys, here we are. Okay, so today we're going to have a look at the Bronco German Seehund 27B or 27B5 major submarine, 135 scale. Uh, Bronco number is CB35053. Okay, so this is quite a big box. On the side you'll see decal sheet, photo edge parts, usual 14 plus warning, caution, not allowed, not 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 the toys, collectors only, usual warnings on these things. And on the other side you'll see two colour code outs. I believe that one is for the English Channel. And this B5, I believe, is uh, one that they found in the factory. But we'll have a look when I open up the box. Okay, so it is, like I said, it is a big box. So let's have a look, see what's inside. Put that over there. There we go, instructions and two sheets of colour code outs. Yep. So, spotted one, English Channel. January to May 1945, all over, dark grey, found in a factory in 1945. Colour codes, I like those. Same again, this one here, German coast, January to May 45. This one here, captured in the dockyard, May 1945. Love the colour codes, that's not too bad. And typical glossy. Bronco instructions. We'll have a look at those in the section. All right, so what have we got? One bag, hull sides, decals. One bag, trotting tower, saddle tanks for B5. Next tank, two, no, next tank, next bag, sorry. Um, two sprues, torpedoes. One stand and bits and pieces in the bottom because I've already had a look in this one because I could hear things rattling around and it was just the photo etch that I could hear. It is um, nameplate and these are, I don't know if you can see, I'll give you a close-up photo anyway, these are the veins for the front of the torpedoes. Big box, not much in it, big model though. So let's have a look at the instructions. We'll get rid of this and then we'll carry on. Okay. Okay, here we are back again and everything's out of the bags. So let's have a look at the instructions first. All right. Basic instructions, three different languages giving you the brief history of the, of the submarine, including uh, performance figures, speed, etc. This is typical Bronco, nice glossy paper. Page one, basic warnings, colour call outs for four different colour manufacturers. Right. English and German, and I expect Chinese, though I can't read Chinese. Warnings, as usual. Layout of the sprues. So there's only two sprues for submarines. The main hull, stand, one little clear part, and one main sprue with bits and pieces on it. Small photo etch, and the deagle sheet. So, first construction is the torpedoes. Okay, now if you're going to mount these on the submarine, you need to make sure that you make holes in the right places first. Okay, so basic construction this is where the little tiny blades come from the photo etch onto the front of the torpedo. So, the to torpedo itself has quite a few construction steps. Then we come to the main hull. Again, if you are going to make this a um, 5B, B5, sorry. 
submarine, you will need to make holes in the hull for the saddle tanks. The saddle tanks were for additional fuel to extend its range. This is a later model. There we go, carry on to attaching the torpedoes to the hull. Conning tower, rear parts, same again, both sides. Okay, torpedoes, fins, all right, main conning tower section, then attaching it to the stand, of which you do get a photo etch nameplate, and then your choice is a 27B torpedoes main hull, or 27B5, which had the additional saddle tanks for extra range. And that is the instructions. What you do get is two color call outs. Okay, so here we have this one. This submarine was operated between January and May 45. This was found in a dockyard in May 45. This one is also a January to May 45 English Channel. And this was on the assembly line in May 45. The British forces found that one. This particular one, simple basic, you notice the colours changes in the summer in the torpedoes, but still not a bad model. Comes in at just over 33 centimetres in length. Okay, and that's your colour call outs. Fairly straightforward, but you can do a fair bit of weathering on this boat. That's not bad at all. Okay. Okay, so sprue time. One thing I didn't show you. Here we are. I'll give you a photo of this anyway, so you can have a really good look. Choice of numbers, basic um, decals, but they look pretty good. Bronco decals. I've never had a problem with them, so yep, looking forward to using these. So let's have a look see if you really wanted to you could make this a French one not a German All right first up on the sprues and you'll go what okay so these are your basic torpedoes you have two sprues of this okay propellers torpedo body head which is one piece and these are your access hatches for electricals etc plus your mounts no flash that i can see it looks pretty clean detail on the torpedoes is really nice you got two... really nice so you got two sprues of that yes um, after world war ii the french actually took four of these and operated them until the early 1950s just to see what they were doing i suppose Okay, so next brew is conning tower, saddle tanks. These are the mounts for the main propellers on the actual hull, vanes, mounts for the torpedoes, etc. Okay, pretty straightforward, nice bit of detailing, nice bit of riveting on the side of the conning tower. That's nice. And then we have the main hull. Detail is good. Panel lines. Quite smooth, as you would expect on a submarine. It's supposed to go through the water. It will not have rough panel lines. This part here, that, that's to protect those eyelet holes, which are quite fragile. And there we go. There is some molding points in the hulls which will have to be removed but apart from that I can't see any major flash or dramas 
on this submarine. It looks quite good. Um, hold points on the hull to may be made depending on whether you're going to have saddle tanks or not. Don't forget to paint the insides around these holes black otherwise when you come to make your model you might be seeing grey plastic instead of what should be a very dark hull. Okay and that is the 35th scale Sea Hunt Midget Submarine. This one, I can't remember how much it cost me, around about $40, $45 Australian. If you can pick one of these up, 35th scale, definitely an, a, a good addition to if you like ships or if you like 35th scale military or just something that is impressive. This is the one for me. Okay, so I'm actually looking forward to building this. And hopefully I will build this quite shortly. So we'll see how we go. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I really do hope you got something from it. Like, subscribe, comment, positive comments, negatives I don't listen to. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Cheers.